Hi everyone, I'm Hart Massey. I'm the program director for the Acting for Film TV and Theatre program at Toronto Film School. And I'm here today to share with you my picks for this year's Oscar nominees. I turned on the movies and was fortunate to see that every one was about two and a half to three hours long. My favorite actress this year is Kate Blanchett from the movie Tar. And Kate Blanchett is amazing. Like she's incredible. It is a masterclass on acting. The director, Todd Field, was saying that this is uh, really interesting. Kate Blanchett is the only actress that he has ever worked with where he gave her the script and she memorized all of her lines, all of the lines of every other actor in the film, uh, character I should say, and all of the uh, scene references, all of the actions. She memorized literally the entire script. Uh, which shows you the kind of dedication this woman has towards her craft. But not only that, she took piano lessons, she learned German, and then she had to get up in front, because she was playing a conductor, a, a well-known conductor, she had to get up in front of the Dresden Philharmonic and conduct an orchestra who were, were made up of real life musicians and conduct like she was a professional conductor. But in addition to that, you see like this arc in the character. It starts from, you know, her being at the peak of her life uh, in her career as a successful conductor. And you watch her throughout the film sort of go through that experience of losing everything. To see that range in, in an actor's performance is often what draws me in as, as a viewer. It's we want to see every side of this character, the good, the bad, the ugly, the whole range of emotions, and Kate Blanchett's able to tap into all of that in Tar and more. My second pick for best actor, uh, which is Brendan Fraser in The Whale, who is exceptional in this role. And I think when you compare the two best, you know, the leading two best actors of the year, I'd say it's Brendan Fraser versus um, Austin Butler, who plays Elvis. But how many Elvises have we seen? <laughs> you know, when you think about the amount of Elvis impersonators in the world, there's a lot of them, and there's a lot of incredible Elvis impersonators. Um, I've seen one myself at, at a concert. I've seen one on the TTC, actually. But how many people and how many roles are going to be created to portray a 600 pound man. He's a teacher, he's LGBTQ, he's had a terrible trauma in his life, um, he's dealing with his weight problem and, and, and the loss of his relationship with his daughter, um, and Brendan Fraser is able to capture all of that um, and make you kind of go through the journey of his fears of dying because he's so overweight that he can barely even breathe, you know? And you just, you just feel for him as a human being. He does it um, by embodying the character with a, a fat suit that honestly looks like it's totally real. Uh, from my understanding, the technology in creating this fat suit is so advanced. It looks real to me. On top of that, he studied with a movement teacher so that he could get into the character and understand some of the movement of somebody with this weight. And it's a tearjerker, I gotta say. Like, it is one that will make you cry. I may have even wept to myself. The other person who I think is the sleeper choice of this year is Hong Chao. She's the actress in The Whale. She's brilliant. The dynamic that she has with Brendan Fraser, just being by his side and being there to support him, the emotional range that she goes through, the distrust that she has for the um, boy that comes to the door uh, who's trying to help him uh, with his connection to God. It's, it's the way that she portrays this character is really so authentic. You just have a lot of compassion for her as a character and you, you relate to what she's going through in the film and how she wants to help uh, Brendan Fraser's character, but at the same time, there, there's sort of a, an inner resentment about what he's done with his life and his choices to live the way that he has. And, so, and I would give both those actors awards for their work in The Whale. I think it's, uh, I think they're, they're both terrific.